Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Bosa Pitok Tawamboy Gishigi. If it's your first time in my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Welcome to lesson 4 of Google Workspace, specifically for virtual assistant. And today I want us guys to go through the Google Drive. I hope you have watched the previous lessons on Gmail and also on Google Calendar. So yes, let's dive into Google Drive and start with the first thing. So on our checklist, the first item is how to open Google Drive. And as I said, guys, the first thing you do when you come to your Google, of course, your Google will look like this if you have already logged in. Um, if you don't know how to open a Google, a Gmail account or a Google account, please watch my the first video and you're going to see the tutorial on how to open your Google account. So once in, on your Google, the first place you come is here where you get Google Apps and so today because you're concentrating on Google Drive here is Google Drive click on Google Drive and it will look like this if it yours it's not new but if it's new they this whole part will be blank that is how you open your Google Drive you either you either come here click on Google Drive and it's going to open Google Drive another way you can open your Google Drive is going to Google come here and search drive.google.com then click enter and automatically it's going to open your own google drive account that is if you have already logged in with your gmail or your google account so let's go back to our checklist and click yes that one is done create a new file of any type document sheet slide form anything back to our google drive so once you're on your google drive on your left side here this is where you will find um, where you can create a new file a new google doc or a new anything or even folder so you create new it will ask you if you want to upload or you want to create a totally fresh so let's say for example we want to create a new document so you will come here and click document if it's google sheet you say google sheet here if it's google drive you say google drive anything google form even more you can drawing maps site anything you want you can even create more apps depending on what you're looking for so let's say for example you want to create a new document you click on google document and just like that it would open a new google document a blank one and you can be able now to, to change anything that you want or to work on your document depending on what specifically you want to work on so just like that we know how we can create a new file and any type of document sheet slide form or anything let's click yes and as i said guys if you by any chance you have not understood anything make sure you can click on these links here and i make sure i attach this copy on each on every single video on google work workspace so make sure you open it create a new copy and you can be able to go through each step slowly and then the next one is upload a new file let's go back to our google drive if you want to upload a new file you come here new again then file upload click file upload it's going to open this pop-up and you can upload any document that you want to upload uh, whether it's in your desktop whether it's in your downloads whether it's in your documents uh, whatever you can you just click there and you can be able let's say for example i want to upload this peer coaching so i just click peer coaching let me just slide down peer coaching then open and then here down here it's going to show you that it's uploading and just like that already it has been uploaded sometimes it's a, if it's a bigger file uh it will take some time but because this one was a small file it was very quick and just like that it has been uploaded because it's, you can see it's saying one upload complete but if it was an, a very big file definitely is going to take more time and that is how you upload um a new file also these these shortcuts you can either click alt control then u to upload or alt control then i um, letter i to still upload a folder so let's go back to our sheets and click yes the next one is name stroke rename a new file so back to our google drive let's say for example we want to rename this file the one that we have just created remember the one that we opened here new and you have created a new file 
a new Google document that is and you want to rename it. If you say if you open it like that already it has saved. Let's say for example it has some you know anything just like that and uh, you have already downloaded it to make sure that it saves. Then you're on your Google Drive and you have this untitled document. What you can do is you will come on this side, click on the file and here is rename. So for example, let's rename this coaching and then just like that, okay, and it's already have changed. That is how you name or rename any file. But when you're creating it, let's say for example, still it's a new document and it's a Google Doc, you can either rename it here. Let's say for example, we want to name it coaching one, coaching and Google Docs and then save. So let's go back and see. So once once you come back and to your Google Drive, automatically it will have um, saved however you saved your document. Um, if you cannot see it, make sure you reload so that you can pick any new documents that you might have saved. So that is how you either name or rename a file. We click yes. Organize files within Google Drive. Back to our Google Drive. What you do is you come back to your Google. You can either organize your file by uh, maybe creating new folders and you know naming them. Let's say for example it's VA folders or anything else that you're doing. Or you can either highlight them. You can either right click or an organized file by adding a shortcut to them or even starting them so that you're able to find them quicker. Uh, so if you want to say, for example, you want to create new folders, you come here new, create a new folder. It's the first uh, item here and you can name your folders the way you want. Let's say, for example, the ones that I want to name is virtual assistant. Then I create. And here I have my new folder for virtual assistant. If I want to move items to this specific folder, I can just drag and drop. If it's a couple of if it's a couple of folders that you want to move, you can just uh, drag through whatever you want to move. I think all these are for for VA, and all of them are highlighted. Then I will drag all these to the folder, just like that. Everything will be moved you see everything has been moved so that is how you can create folder and you can be able to drag and drop anything that you want to add another way is you can highlight the document that you want to move click on it then click organize then move um, it will load of course and it will show you all the folders that you have here and then you just click virtual assistant and move like that so another way I said you can either star it so you can organize by starring it like that so it has already been highlighted another way you can be able to organize as I said it's organize and add a shortcut you just create a shortcut and then you can either probably add it to star or locations maybe on my drive here on this side drive shared drives computer shared with me you can either choose either you whichever you want suggested maybe it's here you can either click there and add and just like that a shortcut has been added that is how you organize files with google drive so let's click yes create folder and save files inside i think that one we have already done as I've said, if you want to create a new folder, you come here, uh, you create a, your new folder and then you just drag and drop. Let's say it's affiliate marketing. Let's just create another one. Affiliate marketing. Click create. So we have a new folder here. You have new folders, you have affiliate marketing and you have virtual assistant. That is basically how you create folders and save files inside. As I said, saving files, you just drag and drop. Search files. Back to our Google Drive. If you need to search any file, this is where you search. It's very easy. So as let's say for example is this bid that I had done. I, I search bid just like that. You can see the document that I have on my bid. For example, it's you remember details. You can always come here and um, modify anything. Maybe the type, it could be in photos, the PDF, documents, spreadsheets, spread presentation anything that you want you can always come here probably it's someone 
owned by someone it's like a document you're collaborating with someone you can always come and change there um, item name maybe location or anything just come here and edit and to say such it's going to search um, the document basically that is how you search files or folders or anything and how to move files I think that one we have done but let's go back a bit and see um, back to home as I said if you want to move this probably it's to a folder what you do is you highlight right click and then come organize and move folder move sorry move file to a specific folder this one is on virtual system so let's let's move it there another way you can move your folders in a short form is you can highlight it then press ctrl alt and m it will open it and it will ask you where you want to move your folder and then you just click here and move and just like that you have already moved so those are the two ways you can move um, a file or a document or a spreadsheet anything that you want to move share folder stroke files so let's say for example i want to share my um, this virtual assistant file with someone else i will come here and click and then it's going to open this part and then you can just click share here you can either copy the link or click share and then it's going to open um, this part where you can either add people by by emails or it can be groups it can be calendar events it's upon you uh, on what you want to do or you can either come here and if you want probably um, to share with someone make sure you come here and anyone with the link can be able to access the folder if you want them to modify or comment or edit the file make sure you click here accordingly depending on how you want them to see let's say for example it's just view after i have done this i'll just click uh, copy the link and done or i will come here add the email that i want to send to uh, any message that i want to uh, tell them maybe edit uh, this one blah 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 give, give them details of what I want to edit and then just like that I will press send and just like that it will be sent to that specific person's email so we know how to share folders transfer file ownership so for you to transfer uh, any file or a document or a spreadsheet or anything that you wanted to transfer you have to have the Google admin um, console like um, the organization email so that you're able to log in and be able to access um, you know uh, files in the in um, files in an organization you cannot transfer from external or these private emails like mine the only way you can transfer it if you're logged into your uh, organization's email and you have the admin uh, logging details that way you can be able to transfer any document that you want I, I will not explain this much because I honestly don't have the organization email so that I can I cannot be able to show you that but please be able to click on this part and follow the details and they are going to show you exactly how you can be able to transfer ownership there are a few uh, very important um, reasons as to why you should be using google drive one is you're able to back up your data you're able to access your data or your files or folders anywhere as long as you have your own login details and a computer and internet uh, or even your phone and you have internet you're also able to collaborate with other people let's say for example it's a document you're working on uh, and you want to collaborate with maybe your friend or a person in your organization you're able to col collaborate on them they can be able to help you by commenting on the documents or even editing the documents for you you're able to find files very easily as you just search and you i mean you can access your files you don't even need to be able to carry your laptop anywhere you as long as you can be able to log in as long as there's you can be able to access another laptop and you have your email address and logging details you're able to access your files so this is why you should be using google drive to you know for storage and to keep your documents so basically that is it for google drive i hope you have enjoyed the video if you have please give it a thumbs up and please leave me leave me a comment on anything that you might be stuck on or something that i did not explain 
in details that you would want to know or any question that you might have for me um, that is it for this video thank you guys for tuning in until next time take care and goodbye